Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. We're up at Devil's Backbone. This is their Outpost Brewery here in Lexington. We're about to go in and see what they got in the fridge. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. We're here on location at Devil's Backbone, or Outpost Brewery here in Lexington. Uh, today, we're going to do their White Stag. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of cloudy in the glass. Uh, a nice golden color. And this is a fairly big beer. This one comes in at 7% ABV and 50 IBUs. So, uh, their description here is, says White Stag is a wheat IPA. Which should make, make it fairly light, easy drinking. Uh, that is a hazy, dark honey in color with a soft body. In addition to malt and barley, this beer is made with four different types of wheat and utilizes five different hops. This beer was designed by pilot brewer Aaron Riley. So, uh, good looking beer in the glass. Let's get a nose on this one and see what we got. Wow. Really, really strong hoppy presence, and there's five different hops used on this one, so it's going to have a good hop presence. Well, it's citrusy, piney. I actually get a little bit of grapefruit in there, too. Some lighter fruit, oranges, mango, maybe some pears and apples. So, uh, very good smelling beer in the glass. Give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. A lot bigger backbone than the uh, the one we had earlier, the four point. Big big malt body on this one. A little bit sweeter. Very well made beer. I don't get the alcohol at all. Seven percent. Wow, very tasty. You could get in trouble with this one. I mean, it doesn't taste any stronger than the 4.5% one we did, so... You could definitely get in trouble with this one. You think you're drinking at 4.5% and you end up drinking at 7%, and after about 4 of you, you're laying in the grass out here. <laughs> so, uh, pretty tasty, guys. So let's let this one warm up just a little bit. Come back and do the final kill. Stick around. Welcome back guys, uh, down to the final chug here, smoking an Ashton Half Corona. Alright, we're back with the, uh, with the White Stag. This is the 7% beer, very tasty, very well made beer. I don't get any of the alcohol whatsoever for 7% beer. This beer is not uh, canned or bottled. Uh, this is done in their base camp. They don't, I don't think they have any canning or bottling over there. So everything is canned and bottled here, I believe, at the outpost. So uh, let's do the final chug. Awesome beer. They are to can and bottle this. Uh, it's pretty tasty. To me, it's just as good as the 8 point IPA that I've reviewed from them before. Except, I'm not giving any of the alcohol whatsoever. I mean, it's, I actually think this may be a, a little tastier beer than the 8 point. Uh, very nice, guys. Uh, it doesn't have any ratings, like I said, because it's not bottled or canned or anything. But if you're in the vicinity of the, uh, the main brewery, uh, uh, they, the location, I can't think of where it's at. I think it's over in Loveland, Virginia or somewhere. It's in Nelson County. We've been over there uh, once before. So, uh, and it's done here. Uh, they have it here at the outpost too. So you can come by if you're in Lexington, Virginia. You can come by and get a glass of this. It's just right past the Walmart here in Lexington. Definitely worth stopping if you're in the vicinity and trying it. It's a pretty tasty beer. Hopefully they'll can it or put it in a bottle soon, guys. So I'm going to give it 
I'm gonna give it the I'm gonna give it the eight. I'm gonna give it the A minus. It's pretty it's pretty tasty. It's, it's definitely worth picking up. So if you're in the Lexington area and, and you have had this beer before, give me some comments back on this one, guys. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. Let's go see what's gonna create.